years that have dug into this, very talented people. Uh, how about in addition to that, though? You know, we talk so much about the Roswell findings, what's there, what wasn't there, the secrecy surrounding that. But from your studies of astrophysics, uh, for, from being an astronaut, from going to the moon, from studying the pictures of the galaxy, tell me something that you've seen or that you've studied that you just feel in your gut there is something else out there. Well, that, that you're saying it right. It's an intuitive feeling. Mm. <clears throat> After looking at, at the heavens and the modern pictures of the Hubble telescope from the Hubble telescope and seeing the complexities and the beauty and and recognizing the universe is much more complex and magnificent than our earlier pictures our earlier understanding would have ever uh, uh, let us imagine and so <clears throat> that you're right that's the intuitive aspect of it <clears throat> but the real question here that we have been addressing is have we been visited are we uh, since we are now a spacefaring civilization, having only gone to our own moon, but have our visitors, our, the aliens, have they come to us? And all the evidence says yes. So what is it that you want to see the Obama administration release? What is it specifically? What do you think is there that we need to see? <clears throat> well, the uh, other nations, and this has been a global phenomenon, other nations in, in just in recent history, the Belgian nation, the, the French, the <clears throat> Brazilians, the Mexicans, the uh, Argentines, uh, all of their files have been opened up and there's no reason in the world why the U.S. files, the leading nation in the world in this period, should have been reticent in opening ours too, except special interest groups. So, so Edgar, and but so let, me, let me ask you, I mean, for all the stories that have leaked over all the years, I mean, and, and there's always somebody somewhere that's going to leak something, and, and if there was really something there, don't you think by now somebody would have said something? <clears throat> oh, it has. People have been saying it all along. But the, uh, for example, just the explanations of the Roswell incident has changed every few years, and a new story comes out. If it were really uh, that simple, if it if it weren't what it really was, you wouldn't need all of these various stories coming out. And so the attempt to cover this up and to disguise the issue and uh, create misinformation and disinformation is very well recorded. And the documentation from very fine researchers like Dr. Robert Wood uh, and his son Ryan, who've investigated uh, all of the early documents, all point to the same story. Hey, we've, we're not alone here when we've been visited. Well, Edgar Mitchell, I'll tell you what, we, it, it fascinates all of us. We'll stay on it, and uh, please let us know if you're able to dig a little deeper and bring us a scoop. Edgar Mitchell, great to see you. Thank you. <laughs> well, okay, you heard from a man who's been where only a handful of earthlings have been before. Does his argument add any gravity to the issue? Tell us if you think the president should open up the mysterious UFO files and why. Our email, CNN Newsroom at CNN.com. We're going to read your responses in just a bit. Attention driver.